That was just the intro. I love how this looks. Because we're gonna go off to Winterfell? Oh no, the twins. And then Winterfell. That this is like really similar to the actual intro. Actually, it basically is the actual intro. Hey, right, why not Winterfell? Okay, so we're gonna be going to the wall. Dead pig. Like that. And a fire. I thought there was something on the ground I was supposed to look at. I'm probably gonna have to look at this. No, not looking at a cart. Okay, I can look at the cart. That's father's car. <laughs> Lord Bolton better give us fucking titles for this. Ooh, it's a pity common, but at least still have his bacon. Should I continue approaching? I feel like I shouldn't, but... Move along, boy. There's nothing for you here. <coughs> Father. I said move on. Unless you uh, want to get fed to the fucking pigs. Worry about getting to our father first, because I don't think we can just die. I recognize you. You're a forester squire. Former stock bannermen have no claim on land anymore. Or haven't you heard? The stocks are dead. Where'd you get that sword? Not a chance that sword is his. Must have stolen it. Out here by himself. Probably a deserter. I killed a man. I, I killed a man for it. Did you? Now why don't I believe you? That sword's too big for you, boy. You can barely pick it up. Get off my land! This is Bolton land now, boy. Lord Bolton is the new Warden of the North. Uh -huh. I reckon he'd like a proper lordly sword like that. Hello. <laughs> no. I'll have that sword, boy. No, you won't. Uh... Fuck. You. Yeah, I think that's... That's pretty good and valid. Alright. Uh, <coughs> I don't want to fight him. Alright. Finish this fucking pig farmer. Pathetic. There we go, we got a pitchfork. 
You really are a pig farmer, aren't you? The axe. <laughs> If he dies, I'm going to be glad I killed him. You survived. Your, your sister. Oh, she hid. I tried to stop them. Well, this is sad. Oh, I'm glad I killed the guy. I'm glad I killed him. I'll kill the men who did this. Exactly. Be angry. Survived. Carrot. I was too late. They were already dead. Bring the maester. Meet us in the great hall. Quickly. It's kind of weird. I wonder if these actually, like, if this family actually exists. In the actual Two White Hill soldiers book. and a Bolton. They killed my family. And for what? My sister, she. She was only eight years old. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable. Unacceptable. You have my condolences. Thank you, Mister. Blade cut deep, but I should be able to save your leg. Your justice was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the White Hills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. But the White Hills won't I see think it we're that way. Go silence. We can't very well let the White Hills walk all over us. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Maggots? Hold the wound open for me, would you? Ugh, what? Oh, oh, God. Just. Just. Oh, God. Ugh. Oh, my God. Why? Uh, These are dark days, I fear. To lose dark the Lord days of the house and the eldest son through such a despicable oh, fuck, act of man. treachery and betrayal. Greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as God this. Me the late Lord Forrester was a good man. And poor Roderick. A serious man, but he would Our have made a good fall. lord. Oh, no, Our house damn. will never fall. By the gods, let's hope you're right. The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Although he is young and altogether unprepared to lead. Right. Uh, this might hurt a bit. Oh, what are you going to do now? Hold this for me, will you? 
I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his God, squire, the, the, and not his son, The Rodri. crawling that would be going on inside of your leg? Not the inside that wound? <laughs> He's as good with a sword as any man I've seen. It's unfortunate the Citadel doesn't train maesters in the art of Warcraft. I imagine I'd be pretty good with a sword. Nothing I could Roderick do. had already fallen. There was nothing we could do. Hmm. Well, I'd imagine Lord Forrester would sacrifice himself to save anyone from his house, high or low. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first, to see if you can put any weight on that leg. Yeah. Go on. Don't stop now. It's better to let the blood circulate. Yeah, make sure that blood goes right around all that freaking maggot shit. Look at the Lord's chair. Um, the window. Why not? The Ironwood Grove. Okay. And what else can we look at? We already looked at the chair. Wasn't really much going on with that chair. Yeah, let's look at the uh, tapestry. Why not? Um, ooh. So good. He was our best warrior by far. Okay. No, it's like Lord Forrester. It was an honor to squire for him. Gregor the Good. Ryan. Never easy being the fourth born son. Like, uh, Lady Forrester. Yep. She's always been kind to me. Treated me like I was a forester myself. Have a look at Mira. Mira. Still in King's Landing, I suppose. Although, I wonder if they'll bring her home. Talia and Ethan. I suppose Lord Ethan now. And Asher. Asher. Exiled to Essos, unfortunately. So he kind of looks, uh, exiled. Hmm. You seem to be favoring it. Always sad to see a warrior lose a leg. I, I'm fine, Maestro Tengren. Look, I'll show you. Uh, let's touch the bucket. Rather cute little creatures, aren't they? No. I guess. They're not. Uh, bandages, pick up. Can I acquire bandages? Yep. That's good. Uh, let's pick up some healing herbs. We're probably going to need those. This might help. Yeah. Um. Okay, we can still look at. Yeah, that's my reaction. Uh, so let's go ahead. Show a sword to you. It's a good thing you've done, bringing that back to House Forrester. By right, that belongs to Lord Ethan now. That sword has been handed down through 50 generations of Foresters. Okay, we can still talk to you. Just look at you. Let's just look at you. Keep moving. I need to see you walk. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Looking out of the corner of his eye like he's really shy. Uh, let's just talk to you. Did your leg feel weak? No. I just wanted to ask you. Um. Why, are the why do the White Hills hate the foresters? Yeah. I think it's safe to say the feeling is mutual. There's been enmity between the two houses for as long as anyone can remember. I don't doubt someone killed someone, which led to more killings of someone's, and then, well, here we are. That's kind of how uh, Game of Thrones kind of works, seems like. And who's Who the, new, the lord? new lord of House Forrester? Why, Ethan, of course. At the Citadel, 
I swore an oath to serve whichever noble house I was assigned. Advising the late Lord Forrester was an honor. Advising Ethan, his third-born son, is... challenging. There's still so much he has to learn, yet the very fate and future of this house rests in his hands. Which is rather frightening when you think about it. Can I go now? I believe your leg will be fine. Any time will tell, but... All right. Lady Sweet. Forrester. Welcome home, Garrett. We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank you, my lady. Talia asked to see you. Garrett, I heard what happened. Is it true? Your family... Ah, oh, the field. So sorry. Mato. Off to bed now. Hurry on. Garrett was just telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. Whatever you can recall. He saved my life, my lady. Yet not Roderick's. You were with Roderick, no? I'm sure it was chaos and confusion. But if you can remember anything, I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. Uh, he fought he, on Zion. He fought valiantly, my lady. Of course he did. He was House Forrester's best. We gotta lie to keep him happy. This has been so incredibly difficult for us, especially the children. But I was told. I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Yes, my lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask, was there anything he said? Any last words before he passed? If you can remember. Uh, it would mean so much to the family. He asked me to return this to House Forrester. He said this is where it belongs. With his family. Thank you, Garrett. Of course, my lady. It demands a response. It's too dangerous, especially now. Now is the time to prove our strength. I'll be sure it's given to Ethan. Duncan, this was our land. They were our people. Your family. I share your outrage, Sir Royland. I do. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell with Ramsay Snow, the bastard. Mm-hmm. Amen Garrett, do you understand what this means? You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. We're the ones who should be demanding retribution. This happened on Forrester land. They killed my family. And they'll pay for what they've done. That much, I promise. But now is not the time for vengeance. It's not now. When? We have to be smart. Ramsay Snow will be here within the week. And what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads while they're still attached to our shoulders. Garrett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett's suffered enough already. You asked too much of the boy. He deserves to be heard. It was his family they killed. My uncle's right. We need to be smart. Smart. Eddard Stark was smart. And look where that got him. <sighs> so, what's to be done? Ultimately, it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. He's just a boy who can barely hold a sword. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the lord of this house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now, this. But... I'll accuse you of murder, and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. I'm not faulting him for what he did. I've done nothing wrong. Not in their eyes. It's just the excuse Ramsay Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. I'd like to see them try. I'm afraid it's a risk we cannot take. Which is why you cannot stay. Cannot stay? Duncan, the boy has suffered enough. But where would I go? The one place beyond the reach of even House Bolton. You're sending him to the war? The boy's done nothing wrong. Not in the eyes of the Boltons. I'm afraid it's the only solution. Uncle, my place is here. Who will defend the house? You said we need men who can fight. 
There'd be nothing we could do to protect you. To stay would bring destruction upon us all. I know that's not what you want. I know it's difficult to understand. But you must think of the house. Still not right. No, it's not. But it's what's best. That settles it, then. You can have my horse, and I'll see you have plenty of food. But we haven't much time. The White Hills will come looking for you. Word up to me. I'd gladly drive a sword through Lord Whitehill's heart if given the chance. I would. And God's willing, someday, I will. But for now, I have House Forrester to consider first. I know you want to stay. But Lord Forrester would be proud that you're putting the interests of the House ahead of your own. Many of Lord Forrester's best men have volunteered for the war. His own great-uncle was a ranger with the Night's Watch. You're the only family I have left. In my heart, I know I'll see you again. I've been waiting for the right moment to tell you. What? What is it? Lord Forrester asked me to give you a message. He said, The North Grove can never be lost. Sorry. You caught me by surprise. It's not often discussed, if ever. What is the North Grove? Most don't even know it exists. They think it's just a myth made up by wildlings and fools, and it's better kept that way. You haven't told anyone else, have you? This is important, Garrett. Of course not. I told no one. Well done. Lord Forrester was right to put his trust in you. From this day forward, this will be our secret. But soon, I may need your help. But I can't say anything more just yet. Just know the North Grove may very well be vital to the future of this house. But don't breathe a word of it to anyone at the Wall. Become a ranger if you can. It will help. Iron from ice. Iron from ice. Remember, you represent House Forrester. Your actions at the wall will reflect the honor and dignity of the house. I'll serve with honor. I know you will. Be safe. 